Holy Wire Mod here in this tutorial 6a in the Expression 2 series where I'll be covering the basics of arrays. So let's start by getting rid of all of this and defining our array. And we're going to need four outputs and resultant output as well. And an array is very much so like a vector where we have an x, y, and z, except that I want you to think of it as a list instead of coordinates. So an array isn't a list of, in this case it's just numbers, there's three numbers but we can add four, five, six, seven, and so on, all the way up to um, a huge number, which I'm not uh, certain on right now, but you can also, instead of just adding numbers, you can add vectors in here, in one of the slots. You can add um, text, you can add uh, entities, and pretty much any data type, including arrays themselves which gets pretty fun. But let's keep it simple for now. And we're going to put four numbers in here. And actually, I'm going to do it backwards. Four, three, two, one. And the output, one, is going to equal to array's first result, which is a type number. And then I'm just going to copy and paste that. Save some time. So slot number four, slot number three, and slot number two are all represented by these values. And the result, in this case, I want the result to be the summation of 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So I'll put sum right here. And that should be good. So let's go over here, play in the sand real quick. And I'll grab some screens. So we're going to have a result screen. Then we're going to have screen number one, screen number two, screen number three, and screen number four, which is going to be the odd one out. Leaning like that, crazy man. Anyway, let's uh, wire this up. So one to one, two to two, three to three, and four to four. And as you can see, it's very similar to the array because there's four different slots in this case, and the resultant is going to be the summation of 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 10. Awesome. Everything's working good. Now, let's say we want to take the average value of that array. So it should be around 2.5, which is 10 divided by 4, which it is. Um, if we want to take the smallest value in that array, we type min, which is 1. And if we want to find what index, or remember this number being the index right here, what index that minimum value is at, we type min index, which gives us an index of 4, which is this screen right here. And we can do lock, uh, likewise excuse me, for max, which is uh, index number 1 right here. So put index, and we have a 1. Now you can also take a clone of an array. So let's say we're going to have R number 2, or R, like a pirate, number 2. And we'll say that R2 is equal to a clone of R number 1, or R. So we'll put all these values down here as R2 to show you that they're outputting R2 values. And I'll bring this back to sum. And as you can see, all the values are still consistent. They've been copied appropriately. And that's a very, very quick tutorial on how to grab values and um, give you an idea when the array is. I'm going to be going over push, pop, shift, and insert next video. So I uh, will see you then.